actually have three chances for seeing rain. The first one comes tonight through tomorrow morning. Your morning commute might be on the slow side. Then we get a little bit of pause tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. We have another batch of rain and then we go into another pause until we get to Thursday night. And then we start to see how Debbie is going to be playing into our forecast. Let me show you what's causing all of this. It's because this frontal boundary right here, it's separating cooler air from the real muggy air. The real muggy air we're in today. Tomorrow we're going to enjoy some cooler air. This is tomorrow morning's map at 8 o'clock. Now this front, depending on where it sets up, is really going to be the focus for the rain. And it's going to kind of hang around the neighborhood for a while, which is why we keep those chances going. Tomorrow night into Wednesday morning as well, we're going to see the chance for some rain. Then the big story will be, is this front going to really move its way out of here and focus the rain offshore from the membranes of Debbie? Or will it be in just enough place or even move northward and allow the focus of rain to be around here? Because Debbie is sitting down here to the south, spinning away with all that tropical moisture ready to move its way in here and interact with that front. That's why I say I'm not looking at a tropical system coming through as much as I'm looking for just some downpours and heavy rain coming out of the whole thing. Before we get to that, we have this severe thunderstorm watch box. It is really across the border and the strongest cells we've seen have been out here to the west all day today. This is Bennington, Vermont. It is showing some signs of weakening, but a new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued all the way up to the border of New Hampshire. So once again, Keen, you may be getting some more showers and thunderstorms uh, as we head toward a little after seven o'clock. And if it can hold together, it will get to man. Manchester, New Hampshire by about 830 tonight. It's all part of that frontal boundary that's all the way stretched up to the west, and that's where we're seeing the focus of thunderstorms going on, and we have most of the day today. So after we get through that batch, we actually have another batch traveling along that front late tonight, early tomorrow morning. This is four o'clock in the morning, and that's why I say your morning commute is looking wet. Then after about noontime, it kind of moves on out of here. It may be a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon and much cooler temperatures as the breeze now is coming straight off the Gulf of Maine and providing us with some cooler air. But it's short lived because tomorrow night, another batch of rain comes in here. This is 10 o'clock at night. It's with us through the Wednesday morning commute and then it moves on out and then we go into that dry period again. And this one will last a little longer and it will enjoy some sunshine as we look at Thursday's forecast. So high temperatures today, they were hot again around 90 degrees and muggy, but this is probably the last day of that warmth for quite a while because now we go into a cooling trend kind of chilly actually even when we warm up it's still a pretty chilly forecast that we're talking about so tonight those evening thunderstorms to the northwest after midnight they become a little more widespread don't be surprised if you hear a rumble of thunder late tonight early tomorrow morning and tomorrow we have the morning showers out there and then kind of cloudy and cool a little hint of some sunshine in the afternoon but then tomorrow evening that next round of rain moves its way in, but cooler tomorrow, 72 to 78 degrees. So there's the center of it right now, Jacksonville. Maximum sustained winds at 50 miles an hour. It will move its way offshore and then move back in through the Carolinas. At this point, though, it's losing a lot of its strength. Maximum sustained winds are really down, but remember, it's traveling with a lot of rain with it. So as we look way ahead, as that system comes through, depending on where it actually tracks and how it sets up with that frontal boundary, we could see some places get two and three inches of rain. Remember, not happening really till Friday night into Saturday more than anything. All right, let me break it down over the next seven days and show you what's going to happen. Tomorrow we've got morning showers and then we've got some evening showers and that rain threat will carry into Wednesday morning. And then we're basically dry on Thursday until late Thursday night. That's that frontal boundary moving its way back in here. And then the remnants of what goes on with Debbie, all that moisture starts showing up in here Friday night. Friday night into Saturday, the most likely time we'll see some downpours from that one. And that's really what I'm concerned about. It's very slow moving. It's dropping incredible amounts of rain down to the south. And we'll see if that rain threat is going to be carrying its way into the northeast. By the way, after it moves through, last half of your weekend right now looking still pretty good.